What do you think the leading cause of divorce, depression, suicide, breakups, and just overall frustration in life and people dying broke? It's not knowing who, what is the enemy to your wealth, to your money. So I'm gonna cover 21 different things that are your enemy to becoming wealthy. We're gonna cover the first one. The first one, the strongest one, the one that can take all your chips off the table is taxes. Filing your taxes correctly and making sure that you have a solid tax plan is important. The rich have great tax accountants and they maximize their tax benefits as well as their returns. They're constantly thinking about their taxes because they know that's the number one enemy of your money is taxes. Next up are lawyers. Lawyers are a huge one. Liability can take your chips off the table too. One mistake with a customer or an employee or someone that you work with can cost you or even an accident, a car accident can take and wipe all your chips, all your hard work off the table. It's important that you cover yourself with the right insurance and that you make sure that you protect yourself at all times financially against lawyers and people looking to get rich off the legal system. It's like the second way that people think they're going to get wealthy in America. The first being the lottery, right? It's sad. Most people don't think about businesses and doing that kind of stuff. The next up is um, partnerships. Partnerships are the first ship to sink, they say. Partnerships are a very tough one because, you know, getting along with somebody and thinking about, are you contributing? Am I contributing? Am I doing enough? Is this fair? Am I working harder than the other person? There's a constant strain in relationships when it comes to partnerships and so many partnerships fail. That's why the first ship to sink is probably a partnership. Partnerships are very important to make sure you legally structure them. You don't end up losing your chips because when a partnership goes bad, you can end up losing decades of your hard earned work just off of that. And speaking of partnerships, what about the closest partner of all? Your wife or husband or partner in life, a divorce. A divorce is where you see most, I mean, you see lots of people in divorce or in bankruptcy court. You'll see partnerships and you'll see divorces and defaults all there in bankruptcy. You can see that a lot of divorces create a lot of financial hardships. The other and surprising one most people don't think about, and because they may take it for granted if you don't have any problems, is your health. If you don't have the right health insurance or the right health coverage, Health can literally take and take decades off of your financial health. It is another enemy of your health. The other thing is people, people around you can be a big liability that you have to be careful. Most wealthy people get guarded and actually find themselves around less and less people and have less friends as a result because they're concerned about people asking, wanting, or even suing them for money. Look at the latest case with, um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Here's an opportunity for somebody to make money off of somebody. Either way, who knows who's right or wrong. Uh, you be the judge of that. But that's a big one. Also, shiny objects. Things that look exciting to you that you want to buy or excited about. You know, you make a bunch of money. The first thing you hear it over and over again. Somebody runs out and buys a Lamborghini as soon as they have a few hundred thousand dollars in their pocket. They go lease or buy that Lamborghini, a depreciating asset, a shiny object. Be careful of shiny objects. After a while, they're just stuff that you have to maintain. I'll give you an example, a Lamborghini engine, if you get to 10,000 miles, normally uh, a lot of times you have to change the transmission. The transmission could be 20 or 30,000, $40,000. And with inflation, who knows what it'll be. Another big enemy to money is distraction, being distracted. Being distracted, being pulled in all kinds of different directions that don't actually produce an actual product. Confusion is another one that's a big one for most people. What should you do? What should you do to make money? What should you do to get ahead? What is it going to take for you to make it, right? Confusion is a big enemy of your finances. Procrastination right there is a big one to procrastinate. Also, a lack of decisions. You don't, you got to make a decision. You got to declare you're going to do something and do it, even if it's wrong. But 
what happens is a lot of people don't make the decision. And a lack of decision making, yes. That's why executives, when you hear chief executive officer, it's about ex executing, right? If you can't execute, you will not get moved forward and it is an enemy to wealth. The next is competition. A lot of times, you know, in business, I've had products that I came out and I would lower my price so that I could beat my competition. And then my competition would lower the price and they'd lower the price. I had a picture framing company once where I framed pictures and it got to the point where in the beginning I made $12 per picture that I framed and put pictures in there and they were beautiful and it was a lot of fun. But over time it got to the point where we were making a dollar, even 25 cents for the same picture. 25 cents from $12 to 25 cents. Competition can be a huge enemy to your wealth. It is horrible and I've dealt with competition and you find a, I, one of the big, this picture framing company was a family in LA. The family all worked, they came over, they all lived in one house and they were, they were willing to make a quarter per picture. And it got to the point where I looked at, I'm not willing to, to a quarter per picture. If you break one piece of glass, a piece of glass is five bucks. You do the math. It's not a good picture or don't do the math, but it, you get it. it. Okay. Let me help you with the math. 25 cents for those to a dollar, $5. That's 20 pictures you have to sell for that one piece of gl glass that you break and glass breaks quite often. Bad advice, getting bad advice from somebody who doesn't have the experience. A lot of times we're so desperate for any kind of advice. We ask somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about, never, don't, doesn't have any experience in an area, or even if they have experience, doesn't necessarily mean that experience is gonna be right, right now. Things change all the time. So experience is something that you don't wanna completely weigh on it. Like even at Warren Buffett, right? You might say, oh yeah, I should follow the advice of Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett traded in a different time, bought companies in a different time, with different financial constraints and different rules over different periods of time, what he's doing now is what he needs to do. What you need to do may not match up with Warren Buffett. So getting advice from him could be pretty bad, right? Because what worked before for him is probably not what he's doing necessarily now. Another big one next up is insecurity. Being insecure that you're not able to do something, not putting your foot forward, not going out there and trying your best, to, to like just do it, holding yourself back because you feel like you're gonna be judged or somebody's gonna take advantage of you or, or some other thing, or maybe you don't think you're good enough or your product isn't good enough or your service isn't good enough, so you don't even put it to market. Insecurity is a huge, huge wealth killer. It can, it can destroy so much. Stuff is next up on the list. Stuff, buying a bunch of stuff. When you have stuff, guess what you have to do? You got to take care of it. Deferred maintenance is something that people don't think about. I think about it when it comes to investments because deferred maintenance is a huge, huge one that you have to do. So stuff can be a big one. Sometimes having as little as possible can mean lots of wealth because it's less stuff you have to take care of, less stuff that can be stolen, less stuff that you, but this is something I think you get after you've accumulated a lot of stuff, you realize that, wow, I got to take care of this stuff and it costs money to take care of stuff. So maybe I shouldn't have so much stuff. You get what I'm talking about. Stuff can be a killer to your wealth. Money is a huge one. You might say, how can money be a, a big factor, an enemy to your wealth? Well, money loses value every year. The target rate for our central bank that controls the monetary system, its goal is that you lose 3% two to 3% per year on the money that you save. Their goal is that you lose. So money is designed for you to lose money if you have it. I know it's a crazy concept, but it is. Time is another thing that is a huge thing that can be, that can take a lot out of the wind of the sails of your success. Time is an enemy of money. It can be um, time wasted, time not Invested can also be another big one. Value, the loss of value in items, in your investments, in your decisions. Value is a big one. 
You want to make sure that you keep a, a close eye on the value of what it is you have. And some of the more ethereal stuff like negativity is a big one. When you're negative, that keeps you from doing stuff and will be a huge catalyst for not moving forward. The other one that comes up, which is a big one, is excuses. When you make excuses not to do something. When you come up with reasons that uh, to not do something, uh, you come up with stories for why something won't work, right? Or you justify why you're not doing something. And the last but not least is probably the biggest one of all. And it's the hardest one for most of us to admit, and I'll be the first to admit I suffer from it too at times. Laziness. Being lazy. Yep. Even with starting 32 companies in 17 industries, I still have my share of laziness that I feel bad about. So laziness is a big one. These are the 21 items of, that uh, cover, actually there's probably 20, 24 when you, I group together excuses, stories, justifications, and reasons because I think of those as one thing um, a, <laughs> to excuse yourself for not doing something. Um, but basically those are the things that are the biggest to me. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out my real estate program. Please consider subscribing, liking the video, and putting a comment in the comment section. I love to read the comments. Um, but I have a real estate program. It's 10% of the price. It's only $99. It's a $1,000 program. I spent $40,000 on all the education to put this stuff together. And uh, $45 million in experience. It's all yours. Two videos below are free. You can check it out at no extra price. And if you're looking to grow your business to leverage up, leverage using bank money, make sure you check out my loan program. No obligation, no fee, no, no, uh, no hit to your credit. You get money in 24 hours. So if you need working capital, lines of credit, that kind of stuff for your business, um, that are healthy debt that makes you money, make sure you do that. Take care. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Love you.